Welcome back, first timers. But if you're new here, I'm David. And this is Harry. We're the first timers. We're trying things for the first time, and you can too. And in this episode, we're checking out two food truck hotspots right on Highway 98 and Gulf Breeze. We're at the newly opened area on Highway 98 that is home to deli dudes, meat candy, and a number of other food establishments. <laughs> but before we check those out, we're gonna head across the street to the eatery to check out six different food trucks all in one location. So we made it over to the eatery, which is a collective of food trucks right on Highway 98. There's six different food trucks here. Today one's closed, but it is really cold and windy, so we don't blame them. They have a variety of food options here, from sandwiches, sushi, hibachi, there's the Sauce Boss, which we've been to before, but we've also had their burger at the Burger and Bourbon Festival, which we checked out last year. It's a little cold and windy today, but thankfully they have a covered eating area. We're in front of Wing Zip. They have a bunch of wings, tenders, fries. They have a bunch of different sauces and dry rubs. And I'm gonna try the two-piece tenders. So let's go check it out. We got our chicken tenders. I ordered the two-piece, I got three. Lucky me, let's give it a whirl. Mm. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Very crispy, juicy, tender. That's a good tender. This is JJ Chagos. It's known for its brisket tacos, but unfortunately it's closed today. So it looks like we'll have to make another trip out here to check it out. The next place we're gonna be getting food from is called Shane Kishi. It's their hibachi and sushi express location. They have their brick and mortar store in Gulf Breeze. Here they specialize in hibachi and sushi. I wanted to try what they're best known for. So I decided to go with their signature roll that has spicy salmon, there's tuna, all kinds of stuff. I will tell you, this is one of the prettiest looking sushis I've ever had. I don't know if that's the proper term. It's bright, it's colorful, it's exciting. I'm gonna dig right in if my fingers aren't frozen. But look at that, I mean. Yeah, that's a good looking piece of sushi. That's really good. There's crunchy inside, the fish on the outside. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be spicy salmon. It's not very spicy at all. Flavor wise, it's really nice. I do enjoy this. If you want to see a video where Terry tries sushi for the first time, check out this video right here where we went to Harbor Docks, which is the best sushi place in Destin. All right, we're in front of the Sauce Boss food truck. You've seen them at the Burger and Bourbon Festival, and now we're visiting them here. We really like their burgers. It's, they're so good. They're a little messy. They also have all kinds of specials, so when you come out here, there's always something new to try. But uh, we're not going to try them today. We got too much other foods to check out, but I would highly recommend you come out here and check them out. This is Aztec Tacos. They've got all kinds of tacos, burritos, quesadillas. We're not gonna try this today either, but it's definitely on my list to check out. This is Turtle Roll. It's the ice cream place. They've got ice cream, milkshakes, Dole Whips, parfaits, sundaes. If it wasn't so cold, I would definitely try some, but my lips are frozen already. Now let's head back across the street and see what kind of food options they have there. All right, the first truck that we're checking out is Jumping Lomo. It's a Peruvian food truck. So they have two locations. They have this food truck here in Gulf Breeze and they have another location out in Pensacola. Today, we're gonna try their chicken tamale. It's not any warmer over here, but they do have an inside seating area, which we're gonna check out here shortly. But in the meantime, we got our Peruvian tamales and you know it's authentic and homemade when it's wrapped in banana leaves. So we're gonna crack into this thing. It's steaming hot. Hot, let you know what we think and then get on inside <laughs> where it's warm pickled onions can't beat those yeah. Let's give it a whirl Got a lot of flavor and that chicken is nice and moist this thing is packed with flavor the corn outside is soft and delicate mm -hmm. and it's not gritty it's it's a really nice texture and mm -hmm. the flavor is next level i really like that chicken it's juicy and flavorful it's a pretty good tamale that's a really good tamale this is locals on greek unfortunately it's not open today but they do have greek food and I'm kind of disappointed that it's not open because I really like Greek food. So definitely have to come back for this one too. This food truck rolled up while we were here. It's not open yet, but by the time this video comes out, it will be. And they have a uh, French Cajun cuisine. We're at the meat candy barbecue. We're gonna try some food. 
we heard the pulled pork is really good as well as the brisket. It's getting a little too cold outside, so we've moved the party inside, which is great because Grab Bite has an inside sitting area. Eventually, they're going to be also serving beer and wine. They got some TVs, and then there's a bunch of games for kids. So this is a great place for families to come, bring your family, have some food, and just relax a little bit. And there's ice cream right next door. We actually got some food from Meat Candy. First thing we got to try is their burnt ends. What they're known for, it's their most popular item. We just got a sample because we wanted to try their chopped brisket and their pulled pork. Oh, dang. Super tender. Cheers. That's so sweet, tender. It's smoky, it has a nice bark to it. It's crispy, but also tender inside. Indeed, Put, meat candy. Put that on a stick. For the platter, we got the two meat, two side platter. We went with the coleslaw. It's cilantro forward, which we both really like cilantro. And then their beans just looked really great. All the smoking is taking place right on the back of their rig, which is pretty cool. I think I'd like one of those for our trailer. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the beans. I'm not usually a fan of beans, but mm. I'll give them a whirl. They also have mac and cheese. Those, those are really nice. good. Tangy. Mm -hmm. Tangy. Nice texture. Sweet. Not mushy. Yeah, I was just gonna say, big beans sometimes can be real mushy. Now the coleslaw. This is nearly world famous. <laughs> Oh wow, that's really different. I like that a lot. Really good. Oh, it's a little spicy. Uh huh. You said it was a little spicy. Ooh. I have a nice. Ooh. I don't know what they're doing, but keep doing that. I got coleslaw chills. <laughs> that's really good. What? It is spicy. Dang. Oh. Oh, the spice has got me. That's really good coleslaw, but be prepared. It packs a little bit of a bunch yeah. in the back, but it's light and fresh. Yeah. And it's not mayonnaise or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know what is on there. I've never had that flavor before. Mm -mm. You do get the cilantro, but man, it punches you. That's really good. It made my nose run. Yeah. Maybe that's the cold. Now for the star of the show. They said that you don't even need sauce for the cold pork. pork. I think we'll be the judge of that. Yeah. That is so tender. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's real, real tender. Flavor's good. I'd like to make a wrap just with coleslaw and that pulled pork. Or tacos? For the brisket, go with the chopped brisket instead of the sliced. Super tender. Again, yeah. a lot of flavor there. That's a lot of flavor. That pairs perfectly with the beans. You get a little barbecue flavor from the beans? The beans kind of cut that richness of the mm -hmm. brisket. And this is a winner. Come out, check them out. But we got at least one more spot left to go. Let's go check out a sandwich from Deli Dudes. So you get a sandwich also from Deli Dudes. It's their restaurant that's inside here, but the owner of Deli Dudes also owns Sauce Boss. Everybody said the Cuban's the way to go. If not the Cuban, you gotta get with the, the steak and cheese. Terry hates Cubans. <laughs> I'm done, shut up. Sandwiches, <laughs> hates them. I decided to go with the San Diego steak and cheese. Comes with horseradish, which if you know anything, you know Terry doesn't like horseradish either. I so don't like anything good. We're doing it on the side. If you don't like steak and cheese, they also have an Italian sandwich and then they also have the Gold Coast chicken curry sandwich. I'm pretty excited about it. I'm extremely full because we've been eating all day. They make everything in-house, fresh. It's steak and cheese town. It's wrapped really nice. I like this paper. Yeah, it's really fancy. And the sticker, I mean, it it feels fancy. I like it. It's a nice little touch. Looks pretty good. Getting pretty full here. You had them cut in half, so I can put horseradish on my half, and Terry can go sans horseradish. But it's on a fresh baguette. It's packed with lettuce. The lettuce looks fresh, mm -hmm. inviting. Is that onion? And then a thin sliced steak. There's some pickled red onions, cheese, and of course, horseradish sauce. So let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. That's a fancy steak and cheese. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like a yellow cheese with like a chopped steak on it. It's a thin sliced roast beef. And it looks like it's sliced off of like an actual roast chunk beef. of roast beef. It's not lunch meat. And then the cheese is really nice. Those pickled onions really give it a nice, mm -hmm. nice added bonus flavor. Ooh, that cheese is tangy, huh? Mm -hmm. But you're right about the onions. And this baguette mm -hmm. on the outside, the real soft inside, mm -hmm. light and fluffy, but also has some chew to it. It's like the perfect bread. It's a lot like the bon mi mm. bread, which is French, French bread, but kind of that same consistency. 
would recommend. I could eat 10 of those. We're going to work through a sandwich, pack up all our leftovers, and it's time for us to get back on the road. But we're going to skip the ice cream spot. It's just too cold right now. So we'll be back in the summer, check out the ice cream spot. But in the meantime, make sure if you're coming through Gulf Breeze or if you're near Pensacola or Navarre on Spring Lake, yeah. come out here, check out, grab a bite, and then also go across the street to the eatery because you have a lot of options within walking distance of each other. Yeah, it's definitely good for a group of people. Everybody gets to eat whatever they want. If you like this video, check out this video right here where we checked out three restaurants in Fort Walton Beach that are open late for all your late night dining needs. Thanks again for following along in this episode and join us next time when we try something else new for the first time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. First timers. High five. Stop. <laughs> You're gonna get us canceled. Siri hates Cubans, so. The sandwiches.